everyone, Connor here from CameraStore.com. Today we have a little, a slightly different video than normal. We're covering the Dumo light meters. Um, these are, are two different light meters, or really maybe even three different light meters, uh, produced by the Chinese company Dumo. They are hot shoe mounted light meters. Uh, we've had them in the store for a while and we've written reviews of them, uh, but we're going to take it outside, we're going to test it. Um, not just outside in use, but we're going to test it on our testing machines, which is something that you can't always do. So Dumo offers two main versions of their light meter. They have the meter D, which is this with the two dials here, as well as the meter S, which is the one with the one dial and the screen. And obviously, just looking at them, you can tell that they're physically different. Uh, there are a few other differences as well. The meter S charges via USB-C. Uh, so it's a rechargeable battery that, you know, you have to make sure that it's charged over time. Uh, and this, the meter D uses a CR1632 uh, disposable battery. So it's kind of a hard battery to find. It's not the most common battery, but the D does come with it. Um, and it, it should be available at any camera store or hardware store. So not too difficult to find, but it's not a LR44 or a triple a or something like that something that you might have laying around um yeah otherwise the the controls are pretty different just because they're two dials versus one dial this is very similar the meter d to the voigtlander vc meter you can tell where they got their inspiration from whereas the meter s is a lot more similar to some of the other uh hot shoe mounted light meters on the market something like the kex or the reveni um this oled screen is a pretty good way to see your settings, um, less of a classic approach, but still very usable depending on what you want out of a light meter. Um, this may be objectively more functional, um, but some people want that classic look with the dials and it even has clicks on the shutter speed and that's, that's really nice. So I like these personally. Um, I've reviewed a bunch of light meters, written reviews of them and, and used them for, for long periods of time. I find the Dumos to be a great mix of quality, um, functionality, and aesthetics, which are all reasons to get a light meter, uh, and price as well. So they don't sacrifice build quality like you would with something that's 3D printed. They're still uh, functional and they still have accuracy on par or better than a lot of the competition. Uh, they're made out of metal uh, and I think that they look nice. So yeah, we're gonna, like I said, Go over to the testing machine with our master technician Roman, uh, run these through the gauntlet and see how accurate they are, and then we're going to take it outside and use them with my Hasselblad here. So we're here with Roman, our head technician, who is going to uh, help us test the Dumo light meters. We're going to put them on our uh, shutter speed testing machine, the same machine that we use for uh, all the stills cameras on our site. So we know that it's accurate. And Let's see how accurate the Dumo is. So to check it, we will use the Kuritsu EF1. And uh, what it does for us here is just like a light source and of specific light value. And we will test if we get the correct measurements with the Duomo. So for EV15, the correct, correct pairs will be, for example, like uh, 11250. Uh, and that's pretty much what it shows me if it turns on again. It's like a straight bright sunlight without shade. So, and 12, 12 is more like a normal day, a bit cloudy, but like still quite bright. Now you can see that it's exactly what it should be. And that's 12 is kind of most normal setting for like what's going on outside, yeah. like usual deal. And nine, nine is a bit like overcast, like more like closer to the to the darker and correct. For this will be f8 and one eight of a second. I guess I need to press again, yeah. And yeah, yeah, that's right there. We can try EV6. Uh, six is kind of really dark, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I know we've tested some other light meters at six, and they've really struggled. Yeah. I some guess of the, other shoe the correct one for this will be what? Uh, one one eight two point eight. So this is this this is one eight, and I guess I need to press. 
and it shows as four. So it's like one stop, one stop under, which is like, to be honest, for the small meter like this is quite impressive and it probably can gather a bit of information from the light around us. So that was just a little bit of our testing process here with the, the Duo Meter D. It did pretty well considering how small it is. Um, most hot shoe light meters like that will struggle in very low light like EV6, so kind of to be expected. Uh, now we're gonna take it outside and take some sample shots with it, see how it is actually in use. Thanks, Roman. Thank you. All right, so now we're outside, obviously. Uh, I had put a roll of HP5 into my Hasselblad and we have the Duo here, so let's get to work. I picked this scene because it's very high contrast and that can be a, tr uh, a struggle for a lot of light meters. This is giving me uh, EV16, so that's 1 500th of a second and F11. So hopefully it turns out well. This church is a classic landmark here in Tampere. Again, it's giving me um, EV16, so 1 500th of a second and F11. So I have the Duomo mounted right now on this official Hasselblad grip which is a great setup. It matches my thumb really nicely. Um, Dumo also offers their own set of accessories for attaching these to different cameras. They have a Hasselblad accessory that attaches to the nameplate, just like the actual Hasselblad one, um, but theirs makes the meter face up, which is really nice, actually. Um, they also have ones that are basically cold shoes with 3M double-sided tape, so you can put it wherever you want and trust that it won't fall off. Uh, I think they have a wristwatch as well, so. They have a lot of different options for being able to bring this meter with you and use it to match the strengths or weaknesses of your camera. So that's pretty cool. Snow can be a pretty difficult thing. Snow is very reflective, so we end up with higher readings than you might expect. This is giving me uh, EV17, so 1 500th and F16. So super bright. Let me just grab focus here. There we go. So the ISO dial can be a little bit funky to use. You have to sort of press on this tiny knob and then pull it. And a lot of the time you can end up changing the ISO or the, the aperture as well uh, before you actually change the ISO. It's a little bit stiff, but it's better that it's too stiff than it being too loose. Uh, you don't want the ISO to be changing when this is in your bag, for example. And also this dial is clicked and this one's not. We're in the shadows a little bit here down to EV15. Okay, because these are new shoes. <laughs> so we're going to capture some motion here. We're going to need a shutter speed faster than about 1 250th. Uh, we're going to go 500 and F8. So that's EV15. Great. I'm back on the swing. Tampere is a great place to raise kids. There's lots of playgrounds around. Uh, but that's been us taking the Dumo out for, for a, a roll of film, testing it, telling you a little bit about it. You can find them for sale on our website, camerastore.com, as well as tons of uh, non-new cameras, lenses, accessories, anything you might need. I've been Connor from Camera Store. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.